Now let's just go back to modules again and look at some of the other things we can put on there. Breadcrumbs. You should put, I like breadcrumbs. We'll put those on. I don't mean the ones you eat. Click next. And we'll call it navigation. Next, our position. Put it at breadcrumb. And that's really all we have to do here. We'll save. There it is. Then we go back and refresh our site. There we are. And here's our breadcrumb up here. So let's go to trucks. And you'll see that our breadcrumb follows us along here whenever the page loads up. Okay. Click half ton. Let me click Chevy Silverado. And there you go. You see the breadcrumbs are following us along now. So we can navigate back just by clicking up here if we want. We'll look at one more in the module manager. You get the idea. You just go in here, pick the module you want, decide where it goes, and fill out the parameters. That's basically all there is to it. Okay, let's... Uh, Pick one more here. Let's do who's online. Next. Okay, something in the title over here. We'll call it online activity. We can position it where we want. So let's just position it right this time. And that's really all we need. Save back over here. Let's click home. Okay, and online activity. We have one guest online, which is me. So that's really all you have to do to add modules. Now let's go back here and look at a couple other things that you can do. I'll just mention plugins briefly, because these are things that you need to be careful about what you Enable on what you disable. Basically, these are pieces of code that have been added and created by sometimes by Joomla users and that you can upload and bring them in here to do different things. There's some of them that come with the package, and then you can upload other packages as well if you want to add more functionality. Now let's go talk about template manager. In here, you can change your template if you want to something else and you can also upload other templates so if you just put your cursor on there you can see what the templates look like so here's where we are now and here is another one so if we wanted to switch to this one all we got to do is click on that and then we click default okay now it's changed. So if we go over here and refresh now, the whole look of our site has changed. Okay, so you see here that it's picked up the different look. Okay, so what we can do now is we can go And we can edit the template if we want. So if we just select and edit, we can actually change things right in here. So you can edit some basic things right off the side here. And then if you know HTML and CSS, you can go in and you can edit the CSS. Okay, now these are unwritable right now because the directories and the files, well, the files themselves, are not writable, and you'd have to change the permissions to be able to do that from here. Okay, so that's just a quick look at how you can edit the template. Okay. 
Okay, let's close that. And let's just put it back the way it was. Okay, now we've already done contacts, news feeds. We can add a poll from here. Okay, you just click on poll and then you just create one. Okay, you have your title and your options over here. That's as simple as it is. So let's create a poll. Okay, do you drive a truck or SUV? Okay, so over here we put truck. SUV other. Okay, save. Okay, and we publish. Okay, now if we go over here, it's not going to show yet. Let's see. Refresh here. Move it back, but it's not showing on here. Do you know why? It's a quiz. I'll show you why. Go back to extensions and module manager. And go to new. Then go to poll. Click next. Okay, position. And select our poll. 